Hey, this is a two-cylinder twin cam engine, but uh, uh, really these things are only realistically can be fitted to twin cam engines. But there's no reason why this shouldn't extend out here or out here an extra two or three or four lobes. So it, it can be uh, used in any length. It makes no difference. And usually in a bigger engine, this movement can be a bit more. But even this 85 degrees is uh, has turned out to be a lot more than this engine can use for any purpose. So uh, basically, this could look very much like a um, production one. But um, another point about this is that really, it's realistically, this you can see it's got two valves, and the one follower operates at two valves. You can't really have a separate lobe, a separate helical cam lobe for each um, each follower. Well, you could actually, but you wouldn't get much range. You'd have to have two of these on each side. But uh, there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, a Honda VTEC is uh, they rev to up towards ten thousand, and they use a split follower operating two valves on the VTEC engine, so. There's no real disadvantage in it, but it could be separate ones if you really, if you were keen. But basically, there's um, this thing has got no real disadvantages except that it's uh, probably a little bit expensive to make. This actual helical machining is um, uh, it's got to be done very carefully because if the helical machining on the this thing here and on the inside don't all line up. It tends to bind when you when you actually try and adjust it. See when it, when you adjust it, that thing stays spocker stays still. So it's all on the you can see it's all on the late closing side of the of the lobe. But if it was done for performance, it would be something like this. It would that would actually rotate a bit, and the lobe would expand symmetrically. But um, just whether this lobe would operate properly at 15 or 20,000 RPM is uh, remains to be seen, I suppose. But there's a good chance it would. It'll certainly operate all right at around 10,000 RPM. So it probably seems likely it would operate at 15 to 20,000. And uh, maybe even more.